Hello everyone, it's Simran here. Welcome back to another video. So I'm going to react to another Kiefer Adams Thomas audio story I am. This is episode 8 of season 6 of them and this one is called Steam Bikes and Horse Trams. Um, the last one I reacted to just now was Duncan and the Pirate Ship which actually had quite a cool, quite a cool plot twist at the end right there. If you want to see me react to that out, I'll have it up in the top right corner of your screen. Um, and yeah... <laughs> Um, yeah, that's basically all I can say. It's a Thomas-centred story, um, etc. in Series 8 of the show. As I mentioned in the last video, Kiefer seems to be given a lot of love, etc. to the hit era this season he has. And, um, yeah, I, I can't, I can't wait. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see how this one goes. Um, link for you I'm reacting to in the description down below as always. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this. Steam Bikes and Horse Trams Written and told by Kiefer Adams. The engines on the island of Sodor love it when special events and fates come to the railway. This year, the Fat Controller had organised a steam fair. The likes of Trevor, George and Elizabeth were invited to take part in special demonstrations while the brass band played their tunes and there were many attractions for the holiday makers. So he's another one of his own there were also OC two new attractions for the steam fair as well. One of them was Jenna. Jenna may look like your average motorbike, but he was actually powered by steam. His owner was very proud of him. There was nothing like Jenna, and everyone was quite amazed with his appearance. Some of the other engines were impressed too. But of course, he was not the only attraction that caught many by surprise. On a small line, not a far from tram. where the fair was being held, there was a mighty black horse that pulled a tram car up and down the track. I recently watched an NWR flashback tales episode by NWR 1991, which was called Iron vs. Horse, which showed that horses actually did have that car, actually did run the old Farquhar branch back in 1905 before Thomas 20 like 20 years before Thomas came along and it was actually quite and uh, here we have one right here actually quite cool that horses were used back in the day in the early the horse century. was called Bronco or earlier than his that his owner Mr Stevens was proud of both his horse and his tram car it was painted white with gold frames and a large red roof the holidaymakers really loved travelling by Bronco's tram car, and even Mr. Stevens had to admit it was a wonderful sight to see. The other engines could talk of nothing but Jenna and the horse tram. But Thomas could not understand why these two attractions were so special, and one day he decided to find out. The day that Thomas was going to make his inquiry was actually the last day of the steam fair. He brought okay. a podium for the grounds, as the mayor would be providing a closing speech later that day, thanking everyone for coming to the show. As Thomas brought the podium into a siding, Jenna was already there. I can tell you don't like the look of me, he said knowingly as Thomas backed in. Yeah. I just don't understand why a silly motorbike, of all things, has come to Sodor, said Thomas. We rarely get any vehicles like you, and you're all the same, showing off thinking you know best. Ooh. I don't, boasted Jenna. My owner built me for purposes that you cannot imagine. These days, too many petrols being wasted, and now... I could be the future of steam-powered motorcycles and all that jazz. I don't know what all that jazz means, grunted I'm Thomas. I'm not sure about that. But you and that horse tram are starting to get on my nerves. Ooh, Thomas puffed indignantly away. Jenna just chuckled. I've dealt with this type before, he whispered to himself. Okay. As Thomas was soon out of sight. Later that day, What's Thomas that was taking some holidaymakers to Brendam Docks. They had enjoyed the steam fair and were talking about it in Annie and Clarabelle as Thomas puffed along. Silly Jenna, he grunted. Silly horse tram. Both are useless if you ask me. Now come now, Thomas, said Annie, 
There's no need for that. Yes, dear, no need at all, retorted Clarabelle. They were both here for the holiday makers. Oh, yeah, sure, snorted Thomas. The next thing I'll know. He was interrupted by a loud bang from his cab and he jolted forwards. Cinders and ashes, gasped Thomas. Oh. Steam emitted from Thomas's Is that cylinders a safety valve as he bus? came to a sudden stop. Well, now you've done it, Thomas, said his driver. You got yourself so worked up over Jenna and that horse tram that you've burst your safety valve. Oh, I'm dear. sorry, whimpered Thomas. It's no use saying you're sorry, said the fireman. We are stuck in the middle of nowhere without any means of getting you a new safety valve. The driver then oh. heard the sound of a horse trotting nearby. To the delight of Thomas's driver and fireman, there, trotting towards them, They're use was the horse Bronco tram to get with his help. tram car, They're use finishing Bronco. up after his last performance of the day. Thomas's situation was quickly explained. Jump on board, said Mr. Stevens to Thomas's driver. We'll take you to nearest town. And indeed they did. Bronco was a very powerful horse as he trotted along the line with the tram car in tow. Mr. Stevens would be unable to take the driver back to Thomas, so he carried on his way. Thomas's driver was lucky to pick up a brand new safety valve from the engineering works. But he wasn't sure how he would get back to Thomas. Could I help in some way? Called a voice from nearby. The Jenna. Jenna's As gonna, Thomas Jenna's waited help. and moped for his new safety valve, he could hear the sound of a bike skidding into view. His face fell when Jenna approached. Thomas's driver was sitting behind the bike huddling around Jenna's owner. Special delivery for a embarrassed tank engine, should I say? Said Jenna yep. rather smugly. Thomas didn't say a word. That evening, the fat controller spoke severely to Thomas. Oh. I am surprised at you, he said. Jenna and the horse tram were the most popular attractions at the steam fair. There was no need for you to be rude about both of them. You were lucky they were able to help you. Otherwise, you'd be staying on the main line for the rest of the night. Yep. Yes, sir, said Thomas, rather ashamed. Perhaps the next time I organise a steam fair, added the fat controller, you'll be very grateful to what or who gets invited to it. He turned and walked away. Wow. James, who was getting himself ready for the midnight goods, couldn't help but chuckle. Fancy Thomas being rescued by a horse and a steam bike, he exclaimed to no one in particular. I've never heard of such a thing in a long time. Wow. Poor Thomas was too ashamed to even respond. Never mind, Thomas, said Gordon. It happens to the best of us. But the fat controller is right. Maybe at next year's steam fair, you might be in for a surprise of what will come. Yep. But Thomas didn't want to think about fairs, or horse trams, or steam bikes, for quite some time. Wow, that definitely felt like a, a proper hit ever Thomas episode it did right there. Thomas and true personality right there, questioning if, something's, if something is uh, where. If something's cool, is worth it, and he gets cop and he, he, he's rude to someone, gets his coppins, and is suddenly embarrassed. But at least, at least Gordon didn't tease him at the end, right there. And Gordon offered him some comfort for it, saying that maybe next year he could be surprised. But Thomas, I don't think is gonna is gonna forget that for quite some time, and I'm sure he's definitely uh, deeply deeply regretting what he said right there. Definitely is regretting it. Um, this was definitely another good audio, uh, audio story. It was this was set during season eight, and it felt like a season eight episode. It did. Really glad that Keith has given the hit era some attention. It is, and that's my signal for my laptop to be put on charge. But I'll do it just after I finish this video. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I've got to say. 
Uh, you do want to see my previous Tom's reaction, my recent audio story or trends adoption. I'll have to play this up in the top right corner of your screen right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought this audio story I reacted to. Also, let me know in the comments down below what odd videos you want me to react to next. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Links to both of them will be in the description down below. Share this video, subscribe if you're new here, ring that bell to get notified. When I play new videos when I post on the community tab, I actually go to community tab because I posted on there earlier today. I did, and I have another interesting AU film I want to show. I want I wanted to show off to you guys. So make sure you go and see check the community tab if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.